Hi, here is a fabulous story, but before I even begin, I wonder if you ever noticed these two pictures, I'm gonna show them to you, which sit at my desk. This one is the lake from Camp Walden in upstate New York, where I grew up, like my whole life, I started going there when I was five and a half years old. And right next to it is a picture of my late father. And so in 2002, we had a reunion for Walden. And so I was like reconnected with people who I hadn't seen in something like 45 or 50 years. I also want to say that that picture of the waterfront, there used to be a rec hall there. And that rec hall burnt down sometime in the 60s. But when those of us who went to Walden so many years ago, we refer to that as the old rec hall down by the lake, because after it burnt down, they built a new rec hall up at the top of the mountain. And so that's an expression that only those of us who went to Walden in the 50s and the 60s would even really know about. So during this reunion, we started to do a reunion in 2002 and all these people that I hadn't seen in so many years, I connected with one girlfriend that I had from way back then. And when she found out that I'm a dream analyst, all she wanted to do was understand a recurring dream that she had been recently having that was driving her crazy. And so I explained, if you want to understand the dream, you have to call me because it's a psychological approach, which she did. And we went through it. And sure enough, at the end of the conversation, she understood exactly why she had that dream. And then a couple of days later, I'm stopping myself right here because I want you to know that in 2002 was also the time that my book came out, my first book. And I was feeling so down that my father, I was so disappointed that my father doesn't know I got published. But of course, this girl, Susan, she doesn't know what's beside me at the desk. She doesn't know that I had just published and was feeling disappointed that my dad is gone and that he doesn't know I was published. But so a few days after we did the analysis of her dream, I got an email from Sue saying to me, thanking me for the analysis that we did. And she can't believe that she understands all the parts of it. And then at the end of the email, she writes, P.S. So busy with how excited I was about understanding the analysis that I keep forgetting to tell you that I had a dream uh, last night that of your father in its visiting day at the old rec hall down by the lake. And he's dancing with such joy that it was contagious to all of us. And immediately I said to myself, oh my goodness, my father knows that I was published. I just got that message. And it's funny because I called my rabbi and I said, like if my father was making a visit and he wanted to let me know that he knows I've been published, why wouldn't I just dream about him? And the rabbi who I adore, so intelligent said to me, well, yeah, but if he would have appeared in your dream, then it wouldn't really have caused you, it wouldn't have caught your attention the same way that it did by sending the message to this girl, Susan, all the way in Arizona, who you haven't seen in almost 50 years, but by doing it that way, it caught your attention. So I do believe that my dad knows that I was published and that's my woo-woo story of the day.